Tell me you're trying to get a head coaching job without telling me you're trying to get a head coaching job. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like got to made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean. You two, team, keep it clean. All right. So you two, team, keep it clean. What's going on? St. Graven here with another video. And in this video... When I first saw this, I, I thought it was fake. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a prank. I did not think it was real. But as time went on, as hours passed, and I saw more and more notable notable people actually retweeting it, I was like, "Wait, this this is actually <laughs> this is real." And that that tweet that was going around came from Chris Burke NFL. And let's read it. it says Aaron Glenn who is the defensive coordinator of the Lions. Aaron Glenn says that he received calls from several other coaches around the league after Sunday asking him how to defend the Ravens' offense. And that was disturbing. One is disturbing because it's like, hey, uh, them Ravens who Lamar Jackson, he's not even a real quarterback, who NFL executives said figured him out this offseason, oh, said this is the year that he's going to be stopped. What are they doing calling Lions defensive coordinator to try to stop Lamar for you that's you can't come up with your own game plan is it is it that right and that was the first thing but what I really just what really just bothered me about this whole thing why would they call you what did what did you do to stop the Ravens and and, and this off what what did you do and then it, it was a follow up. That really, I was just like, is this, this can't be real, man. There's no way that this is real. But it is. It was the follow-up that got me to it. It said, on the 4th and 19, Aaron Glenn said, I wouldn't take that call back. I trust myself. I trust our staff, and I trust our plan. There's nothing in me, in my soul, that says I would call something different. You really mean to tell me that you were willing to put it out there to the public that other coaches called you for advice where you just lost a game and, and a team completed a fourth and 19 on you? That you, you really, that's, that's what you're telling me. Coaches called you for advice on a game where a team in the fourth quarter, this game on the line, you mean to tell other coaches, in the, other professional coaches, they called you because you couldn't stop a team on a 4th and 19? You're the one that they should be going to for advice on that? <laughs> like, th this is why I, I thought it was fake. But it's not. Now, let's look at some of the numbers, man. All right, team stats for the Ravens. Rushing yards. Uh, they only had 116 rushing yards. Now, the run game was rough on Sunday against the Lions. Give them credit for that. If, if, if teams called and they were like, hey, how do we stop this Ravens run game? Because, boy, we, we ain't trying to have to deal with it. Lions, they sold out for the run, and it, it worked. They did their thing because a 116-yard uh, rushing day for the Ravens, that's extremely low. That's extremely low. But when you look at the passing yards, the passing yards, Ravens passed for 271 yards. Lamar passed for one touchdown and one interception. Now, if you look at that, that's a little more passing yards than the norm for the Ravens. So that's one thing. But then, this is why you cannot just go off of the stat sheet. For anybody, anybody that watched the game on Sunday between the Ravens and the Lions, anybody that watched that knows that the Ravens left at a minimum, at a minimum, they left 18 points on the field 18 points and that's not including the point after the touchdown with Justin Tucker with a nine times out of ten probably 9.9 .9 times out of ten hit they left 18 points on the field two of those there's 12 of those 18 points two of those touchdowns came from Hollywood just dropping the ball he just dropped the ball that's it another six came from Mark Andrews with a, a poor body adjustment for a touchdown, because that would have been a touchdown. It was in the end zone. So that right there, six times three, is 18. They left 18 points on the field. See, Aaron Glenn 
while I was watching the game, I'm like, oh, that's that's Aaron Glenn. That's the guy that used to play a uh, cornerback. And from these comments, I can tell that he has that sort of that cornerback mentality. Not all cornerbacks do it, but enough of them do it. And y'all have seen it before, and, and it can be it can be very frustrating. Where a quarterback will drop back, he'll throw the ball to his receiver, and the cornerback will be covering the receiver, and the receiver may get a little bit of separation from the cornerback, and the receiver will drop the ball. He'll drop the pass. And y'all know what I'm talking about, the frustrating part. Well, cornerbacks do it when the, re the receiver drops the pass. Not the cornerback breaks up the pass. Not the cornerback put a hit on the receiver to make him drop the pass. Not the cornerback deflected it. And obviously not the cornerback intercepted No, 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 no. The receiver just flat out dropped the pass. The cornerback did not do anything on the play. But what do they do? Not all of them, but some of them. But what do they do? And it's like, I know you're happy that the, the receiver dropped it. But they didn't drop it because of you. And this is the same rules apply right here. Yeah, I know you're happy that Hollywood dropped those passes, but he didn't drop those passes because you had such an amazing defensive game plan. Th that had absolutely nothing to do. It, 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 the fact that Hollywood continued to be wide open, it's like you, you, you put yourself on even more blast by, by saying this stuff. Like, that's why I just, when I saw it, I just really could not believe it. I really couldn't. It, it just, I, I just really, I just knew that it was fake. I knew it was fake. It had to be, but it's not. And it wasn't. And that's scary. Because this could actually work in reverse for him. Because again, it does seem like he's trying to, he, it seems like he's just talking to the people that only look at the stat sheet. And they're like, oh man, they held them Ravens. To just one touchdown, one interception through the air. They only ran for a little over 100 yards. Oh, man. <laughs> what a day for Lions defense. And you can get caught up. You can get If you get caught up in the stat sheet, then you'll be like, oh, man. They, they actually did pretty good against these Ravens. But if you actually see the game, you see them Ravens was, they were wide open. And Hollywood not only dropped the two touchdowns, but he also dropped another deep pass. So this good game that it seemed like he's trying to sort of brag about and trying to slip his name to to get some different head coaching job. I ain't, I ain't mad at that. I, I ain't mad at anybody trying to get their opportunity. I ain't mad at nobody trying to come up. No, I, I will never be mad at nobody for trying to come up. No problem with that at all. But this sort of backfires on you because if people just watch this game alone, because again, the quote was that guys are, are calling him. That other coaches, he got calls from other coaches around the league asking him how to defend the Ravens' offense. The fact that he said that, they're going to look at this game. They're going to focus on this game. They're going to watch the film for this game and be like, hold up. The Ravens, they were actually the best defense against themselves because of all the missed opportunities, because of everything that they left on the field. It wasn't you. So I just, I do hope he gets a head coaching job. Because again, I want him to come up. I'm rooting for him to come up even more now. But I don't think that this was the best way to go about it. Team Give It Clean, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Shout out to Aaron Glenn. I hope you get that job that you're gunning for. We out. Shout out to Aaron Glenn.